What's up everybody, Dark Cosmic here, back with another astrology video. Today I want to talk about having your Mercury in the 6th house. So what happens when the individual has this placement? Um, so Mercury is the planet of knowledge, it is the planet of information, it is a fast moving planet, so um, it basically it's the, it desires to relay this information as quickly as possible, get to the details as quickly as possible, get to the point as quickly as possible as well. It's, the, um, it's also a, it's a very youthful energy as well. Um, Mercury rules Gemini and Virgo. Um, Gemini representing the aspect of Mercury that is just about the facts and the information. And then Virgo, the Virgo aspect of Mercury is about the real things the things that you can prove without a shadow of a doubt that are right in front of you that are tangible that you can grab so they go hand in hand together to create reality so when you place these this um planet and i like to look at the planets like uh an individual the planets are individuals and the house is a location that we're that we're going to place this individual to live and um, see, you know, see what they become as a, as a result of that. So you can think of Mercury um, being the aspect of you that is a researcher, being the aspect of you that is talkative, the, the aspect of you that communicates, the aspect of you that um, is more logical, that is, is, um, is more based in reality. You take that Mercury individual <clears throat> and you place him in the sixth house. The sixth house is about health, routine, reality, um, tangible things, um, your pets. So basically, this is where Mercury wants to be. This is the Virgo side. Uh, the sixth house represents Virgo. So, and Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini. So, the Mercury really enjoys being in the sixth house because this is where Mercury can really prove to people without a shadow of a doubt, you know, um, what reality is. Um, and it's mixing that with the information that it gets. Um, it's mixing that with research. Like I have the research and I have the proof right here. So you cannot deny these facts. So um, uh, the the, ben the pros of having this position is, like I just said, being able to prove, you know, prove without a shadow of a doubt that you are right about a lot of things. <coughs> um, to be an extremely good researcher to be um, really good at picking apart people's words and you know correcting them uh, uh, and, and um, helping them to see whether speak better have better grammar or just to help them to get to the point and, and be more practical even with their own speech not talking talking endlessly for no reason everything has a, a, a meaning like a purpose when they speak because it's all about perfection pardon me it's all about perfection when you're talking about virgo energy six house energy um with this placement you it might be a routine of yours you might make communication a routine where you have somebody that you always talk to on a daily basis about practical things that's the key thing it's not probably it's not i wouldn't say it's about you just talking i would say it's about you talking to people about practical practical subjects so um, what else would I say? Um, the negative qualities of this placement are just being extremely critical of another's thoughts, extremely critical of how other people think and extremely critical about how you think within your own self. So every time a thought comes into your head, you're judging it. You're judging why you feel this way. You're judging why you would even think that. You're overanalyzing it, overanalyzing it, and kind of messing yourself up and, and second-guessing yourself on many things that you probably don't need to. Uh, like, it's, it's it, Virgo, is, Virgo energy, because the sixth house represents Virgo, this energy oftentimes creates issues, apps, um, issues over the, the smallest thing. Like, you could literally have a hair, maybe a little bit of cat hair on your shirt, or maybe you, you dropped a little bit of water on your shirt and now it's ruined, you know? And it's like all other zodiac signs, maybe they take that with a grain of salt, but oh, whatever that happened. But this, the little, the minus, 
the, the tiniest detail can ruin your mood mentally can ruin your mood and that is the negative quality of displacement it's a real thing you really do have that cat lint on your shirt and you really do have you know that drop of water but why make such a big deal out of it you know um, so they they can be very critical about a lot of things. They can be very critical about how you talk. You know, always trying to correct you. See, that's a good and a bad thing. Like they may be trying to help you, um, but in other times, most of the time, people don't really like it because they come off as you know they are, you know, holier than thou, and they they are the one that knows everything, and they're always trying to correct people. So, or like a grammar Nazi or something like that, or um, the negative. Uh, aspect of it is sometimes they won't believe you if you don't have proof so you always have to like you have to always go through this extensive process with you in order for you to believe me believe me about anything it kind of gets annoying and redundant that you have to go to that those extents all the time so um or they might be boring themselves because it's a routine so the sixth house represents routine virgo represents routine so sometimes they may come off as boring and dry because they keep they might be the type of people that talk about the same thing all the time same topics all the time and it's 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 over and over and over again you might hear the same concepts coming from them all the time and they're just hammering it at home hammering it at home and getting in perfecting that so i would say those are the negative qualities um I'll, i guess i'll add uh some more positive qualities to this to, and to wrap this video up some more pro positive qualities to this would be, you know, having perfect speech, being able to express your mind with almost close to damn near perfection, being able to really choose the right words, put them in the right place. And because it, it, you have you have the ability, ability to analyze these things and make them practical too. So not only are the words coming out of your mouth can be perfect, perfectly said, or perfectly enunciated, uh, they also they also are to the benefit of others in a practical way. They, it's not like Gemini can sometimes spew out information that has nothing to do with anything in regards to benefiting you. It could be something that's real or, or logical information. Like let's say Gemini could tell you information like uh, whales, whales uh, sleep vertically through the water. That's something that I learned, right? They don't really sleep horizontally. They sleep vertically through the, in the water and they float right that's information it's a fact you can look it up especially i think it's the sperm whale it's a fact but guess what that was not practical information at all so uh virgo energy is more about factual things that are practical now so things that you can do like they probably will tell you something that you need to handle right now and help you with that that's a really positive quality uh so this is my this is what i think um this is my opinion on mercury in sixth house sixth house hope you guys enjoyed the video peace